Hello and welcome to another episode of Space Engineers. It is another glorious morning here on Agoras. And, uh, where is my spectator camera? Bring it over to me. We, on a live stream, did a bunch of work to the runway. It isn't complete, but it's coming along. We've got the majority of it done, but we still need to do all of the retaining wall and the on and off ramps, a few other things. But we could actually use this. We could land on this. So what we're going to do today is modify our Warthog. Now I have rearranged some of the mods and added in a different weapon replacer rather than the industrial overhaul specific one that adds in like the gravel turret and stuff like that. They're put in so that you can have some weaponry early before you get all the components and all the infrastructure to build actual guns. But I am past that point and I have actual guns. So to go along with the Northwind weapon pack, we've got the Northwind weapon balance, which does a few things for the, uh, the guns that I do have. Uh, for example, it makes the uh, Gatling guns here shoot slightly further range. I believe they shoot faster, um, stuff like that. So it just rebalances all of the core weapons. And one of the rebalances that I'm most excited for, and I'd actually like this to be a part of the game, is it makes the regular old missile launchers, so if I go in here to uh, block weapons here, the rocket launchers, it turns those into tracking missiles so that we can lock onto a target and then fire off a tracking missile barrage and our four missiles out of our rebel rocket launcher here will fly off and uh, schmuck the target as best it can. Now they're not perfect tracking, it's not like it's always gonna hit 100%, but they are, uh, if I'm not mistaken from reading the de description on the workshop for the replacer mod, was that they're meant to, to be like an artillery barrage kind of thing. They have a long range, like five kilometers, and they're meant to be, hey, that thing way over there let me just barrage it with missiles. And I like that. I really, really do. So what we're going to do is, of course, all we really need to do is grab some stuff light. Because we have build and repairs here that can build up everything. And on our Warthog, I think it would be best if we put on some of these rocket launcher pods onto the bottom right here. Now, can you sneak them in right there? We'll use the Warfare one. I think that looks the best in terms of where I can place them. Right? Yeah, that definitely looks the best. So, one, two, three. And uh, get onto the other side of the plane here such a weird angle when you're using your jetpack to be upside down. Four, five, and six. And we'll be able to use those as some anti-ground in probably anti-larger attack things. I don't think it would affect any uh, like a cert drones or anything like that that would be coming at us. It wouldn't have enough uh, tracking power, essentially, to hit those things. But we can run from those. <laughs> because what I'd like to do today is equip this Warthog, refuel it with what we can. Uh, we'll have to figure out how to do that over here at the last remaining bits of this uh, gasoline fuel arm. I'll figure it out somehow. Make it fit. And then take off from there and do the nice long trip all the way over to the desert and scout out both the lithium and the gold. 
as that is... Oops, my mistake. There we go. There. Silly spectator camera. It goes really quick when you've set it up to be fast. And then we can see where those enemy bases are. Maybe take a few pot shots at them. And see what kind of defenses they have. Because I... Do I have a camera? I have the camera on the front of this. And I can pan this down. So I can pan down and take a look as I fly over. Which would probably be a good thing here. Okay. And... Do, 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 do. So what we're going to want to do... Is... Also... Color is that? It's this paint there. That's the color I want. We need some missiles, and then we're gonna go test this on the local uh, sort of assert corpses that I have laying around. There's a few bases over there that I haven't fully salvaged yet, uh, and I have two missiles. Nice. Now I should be able to actually just make the missiles with no issue. The mod also removes any need for. Um, platinum uranium and all that kind of stuff for them. So I should be able to just make 100 missiles here. Cut out that uh, HE ammo. I should have a ton of 100 millimeter now, right? Right, yeah, 700, 100 millimeter. We are good. We don't need any more uh, 100 millimeter for now, at least. And uh, excellent, we're starting to get some missiles. Okay, so we'll grab the missiles. Grab those out of there. It looks like I can only carry about uh, six of them. But I believe that each of these missile launchers uh, only takes four. Right? I don't know where the first four went. I put four into there and they just disappeared. There's two of them now. Oh, does that mean like there's four loaded and there's two more in reserve? I wonder. Let's put two more in there and then go f up and try to fire off these missiles. And just grab a whole bunch. And uh, plunk it into there. Okay, rocket launcher four. So I'm probably going to name these. We'll go Warfare Rocket Launcher. Uh, this will be right. One, right two, and right three going out from the side. And then we'll go left one. Come on. Left two, and left three. Because I was thinking of how I want to activate these. So I've got number one, which is my basic flight controls and such. And it's got my controls for my, my wheels and my thrusters and all that jazz. Number two is my fine controls for my cruising with my um, autopilot. And group three could be um, my different missiles. So then I can go on all the blocks here to miss to rocket and go we can go have the going across the the thing here and go left one left two no wait wait left three left two left one that would be like the furthest left is the furthest left of my orientation. So it would be left three, left two, left one, right one, right two, right three. So three, two, one, one, two, three. And so that way I can see like, okay, I've used the furthest left because it's on sort of thing. I've, I've turned it on, I've fired all the missiles from it. So then I'll need to use two as the next volley. And I think that'll work properly. 
these different rocket launchers, they don't have... Hmm. They don't have extra bits down here for, um... Weapon core. Interesting. Uh, it should be left three that I have missiles loaded into. Right? Left one that I missiles loaded into. Yeah, left one. Left one, we've got four missiles. Is reloading false, has target false. So let's go see uh, how that works as soon as I've loaded one more. So we'll go left one and right one. We'll put four in there and we'll see if we can fire right one even though those missiles seemingly disappeared. Alright, back to the main control panel. So I want to see how these tracking missiles work. Oh, I should probably, you know, turn on my engines. <laughs> Vroom. Let's go. And we are away. We'll get up to some altitude here and activate the uh, cruise control. And I believe the 30 millimeter is still... Its thing isn't showing up either. Mm, maybe I have to do a... Uh, it's still on mouse click though. Hmm. Maybe I just need to do like a reload or something. Something's not working there. But let's see if these missiles are working. So I should be able to do... So we'll slow down, and if I fly over top of this abandoned assert base, it should come up as a target, should it not? Or is it too dead? Oh, there we go. We've picked it up as a target. So now, let me just do a circle here, so that way I'm pointing back at it. And then I can switch over to the missile control tab and fire off a barrage from left one. All right. We'll pull in here. Should be enough. Come on. And number three. Woo! Cool! The missiles track downwards towards it. So let's try. We'll fly really far out here. And then we'll uh, turn on back. I think we'll also we'll put the uh, autopilot on here for stop. And nav, just so we can uh, control it while we're we're doing this. All right, take manual control again. Turn around. Longer distance now. Fire. Ooh, ooh, ooh delicious! And now, right one. It does fire. So those missiles are loaded into it. So I can load eight missiles per thing. And now I'm leaving both those on. They're not firing again. Interesting. Nice. And that should allow my little warthog here to do some additional ground attack or to attack a uh, larger... Uh, Larger um, ships and such. Now, of course, those missiles can be shot down. So, we'll have to, maybe at some of them, we'll have to, like, fire multiple at a time in order to overwhelm their anti-missile defenses. But, uh, we should be able to see. Gasoline tank. Yeah, we're only at 63%, so we should definitely fuel up before we leave. So, it's still um, building missiles. Let's, uh... 
divert our way up to the gasoline refinery. And let's go get this thing plugged in and refueled. Then we can load up it with uh, eight missiles per. And we can uh, fly on off to the desert and see what uh, what danger and what uh, mischievousness we can get into there. And we should have everything nice and aligned. I can just scrape along here until it's right there. Is that connecting? Oh, that is actually connecting. Oh, sweet. So these tanks should be able to go on stockpile. Yeah, baby. Filling up. And you are getting drained down. Still 66.6% .6 on those tanks there. That is awesome. And uh, you guys are at 100% again. All right. We have refueled. We will switch lock. And we'll pull this up and away. We will get a much better refueling arm set up at the future hangars. But we can release from there and with our fully fueled and ready to go. Just need to dash on down and grab the ammo which, which we should have built up fairly quickly here and oh just do a quick pass over of the, of the runway oh, oh, oh yeah oh this thing's gonna work so well once it's fully built I can't wait for that get the instrument landing system on there and I'll just be able to have all my planes just be like, ah, whatever, I don't feel like landing you. But press a button and just leave the plane. <laughs> I'll just jetpack down. The plane will land itself. I don't need to pay attention. <laughs> yeah, we'll come on in here for a landing. Whoa, a little bit of a uh, Sim speed derps there. Stop, 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 stop. Please. Thank you. Uh, the other thing, the last thing I was thinking I could possibly do to this plane was the fact that I mean, it wouldn't be a warthog in that sense because like this is the warthog it's a ground attack aircraft it's got some missiles it should have had some could have some bombs you know that kind of thing but I'm contemplating you can slice the tail off and you could put an auto cannon back here not the 30 millimeter because that requires a large port but the small port auto cannon turret with the autocannon magazines. The reason being is the mod pack that I'm using with the weapon core and then the uh, replacer for Northwind turns this into like a uh, flak cannon so that it would be good for anti-fighter. So then if I was ever in a fighter situation I could run away and then my little tail turret shoots at the enemy which I think would be absolutely amazing. And as you can see here, there is a, a way. Where there is a will, there is a way. And I could, coming out of the back of that engine, lay down enough conveyor to get all the way back to then pop out the back here. And... have a defensive tail turret I think it would be silly but I want to do it because then I could have a tail turret so then all I need to do is go grab some oh I got some steel plate 
It would be a small conveyor. Uh, now, do I have any auto cannon rounds? This is a very good question. We've got the 30 millimeter. We've got 47 auto cannon clips, which each contains 16 rounds. Okay, I, f f I have no idea if that would be enough, but I'm gonna assume it's would be, and I can't. Oh, I can place the um, reinforced tube here, nice and solid, all the way down. I can only get that far with my reach. So I've got to cut into the top of this thing. Where does that tube reach to? Reaches to there, okay. I gotta cut off those in order to get down to it. And then I can reinforce the tube this section. And then grab that auto cannon turret. And chunk this bad baby on the back here. And I think it, it looks kind of silly. But I think I might enjoy having that there. Especially because it could be like an anti... Uh, anti-missile and such like that as well. I can chuck these into here and eventually when that uh, when that cannon gets uh, built it will uh, grab some of that ammo. And replace the armor on top. <laughs> We've got a tail gunner! So now it's going into the autocannon turret. It can take three magazines itself. Uh, the rest here will sit in the connector. We've got 20 something, you know, like 25 uh, 30 millimeters, and 12, 15 autocannon clips. So then that autocannon turret. You can see that it has a 2,000 kilometer range, and we'll set it for projectiles and grids, and that should be good. And pick a subsystem now, we don't need that. We'll just shoot everything. Perfection! We've got a little defensive turret on the, on the Warthog. I mean, this is silly. This is not really a Warthog anymore, but I don't care. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> We can dump the rest of our stuff. We'll keep our food and water. I'll dump one of my hydrogen bottles, at least here, and then pick up more some missiles, as we got 51 there. So the first four always uh, just gets loaded immediately, and uh, the next four get sucked in. However, we can load one and a half per with the 12 we pick up. And so we'll have these uh, things loaded in four trips. Exactly. Missile. Yep. Bonk my head on the thing there. And last trip. And then we are fully loaded. I'm ready to go kick some ass. There we go. Ooh, yeah. Now I'm certain I could do something along the lines of setting up a, um, like, the volley script and stuff like that. Uh, we're going to take off right now and just start heading for the desert. So we can go do our scouting. Turn off our parking. 
and take off. We will... Each one of those missiles is off, so it's not going to be firing unless I tell it to. And we will put into our autopilot and then uh, start climbing up to a decent altitude. And that could... Whoa! Uh, auto cannon turret. No. Bad auto cannon turret. I should maybe set you only to a thousand. We shall, we shall, we shall see. I maybe I, I gotta control you. <laughs> God, you're spunky. <laughs> I gotta be able to turn you on and off. As there was a um, crashed uh, ship in the water there that I shot down uh, during the stream. And I believe it was opening up on that and used up one of its magazines pretty damn quickly. So I should only have that thing on if I have an enemy uh, chasing my butt. But now we can. Where's our autopilot here? We can go altitude, 5,000 meters. Speed of 75, and uh, we're going directly west, so it is heading to 70. Nope, that's east here. Or am I crazy? We want heading 90. I was completely the wrong direction there. And uh, we're good. ROS with Bedford Mora. But they have boats that work now with Water 3? There's. It's Water 3. For, oh, it's the. It's the patrol boat. But it's. It's rebuilt using Water 3. Oh, cool. How'd they do it? Okay, so they got doors there. That's all sealed off. Nice! It is rebuilt using Water 3. This is all just an empty space. Oh! <laughs> Very nice. That is excellent. That, that, uh... That exists. And I think I'm trying to uh, get too much altitude here. What am I currently s s trying to get to? I'm at 1,000 of 5,000. Oh god, that's way too high. We shall go out 1,000. And dive down a bit here. If that thing heads towards the base, the base will be able to take it out. But now that we are away from all these grids, we shall turn our uh, turret on the back on. Yeah, let's give it some idle movement, because that always lets me know that it, it is there. Wait, idle movement. Come on. Enable idle movement. Ugh, I guess it's not there. Ah, oh, well. Now. It's time for the long flight to the desert. And we've made it quite far. Over there is our cobalt um, field. To the left there, what are they? The Interstellar Trade Corp. They're not exactly friendly, but they won't fight us unless we actively fight them. And ahead is the desert. But we are flying away from the sun, which is not a very good thing. So it is progressively getting darker and darker. And something's loading in. Had a lag spike there. 
<laughs> so, we are heading into the desert in the middle of the night, which might not be the best thing. We might just have to look for a place to land and uh, wait out the night. Although, realistically, this thing is really fuel efficient when you're doing this nice slow flight for these long distances. We are, we've got eight hours of cruise remaining and we're actually going at a decent click. We're going at 75 meters a second. If I drop this down to like 65 meters a second, we let it drop down to that speed and then, yep, hold that speed for a bit. We've got like 14 hours of idle airtime. So I could realistically just circle out here in the ocean all night and then go in, do my scouting mission, and fly all the way home without even landing. Like, when you've got a nice light aircraft, we're only 54,000 kilos, which for space engineers is actually quite light. And you've got a heck of a lot of wing area you can just loiter up in the sky for a very long time if you drop your speed down like i think i believe we can hold 50 meters a second as like starting to get to the stall speeds we can see that our our pitch is uh, coming up massively we're still able to hold altitude using 14% thrust and that means 18 and a half hours of uh, just ever so slowly crawling through the air but it might be best here uh, we'll, we'll speed back up here 60 up to 75 We might need to look for a spot to put this bad boy down. I didn't bring any extra lights and such. But while we're flying forward, I can get out and I can turn on my headlights and get back in. <laughs> Which is not going to help us land, but hey, at least it's something. Oh yeah, I see nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa there's a little bit of what? Sunlight still on that? Or maybe that's some lava. That could be some lava. Uh, just looking at the terrain, that's... The, this is the... The bay that I wanted to set up a base in. And there's an enemy base literally on the other side of this bay. So I don't truly want to get too close to that base. As it is. Because it would probably spawn and then start sending out baddies for me. Uh, this side of the desert that I'm flying into right now is the pirate side, like the uh, desert raiders, where that, that side of the desert, the northern part, is the enemy faction. So the desert raiders are, I hope, a little less aggressive and more just like, don't come near us rather than the other guys, which will be like, let's actively hunt them. So let's see. There's got to find a nice spot somewhere here. If I, th I believe, I'm just looking at the map, looking at what's ahead of me and looking for landmarks. Those two pillars right there if you put them in line, the enemy base is right over there, past it. So if I fly past those pillars and over to the the water, the like the inland sea of the desert, there should be a plateau there near an oil field that I can set down at. Super Gremlin alone. 
alternatively, what is this on my left? Fighter docking station. Interesting. It is not nine threat. We don't want to fight that, that's for sure. But we can see the, the water right there in front of us. So off to the left of that water is an oil field, as well as a large plateau. I think I want to set down on that plateau. And that'll put me in a nice central location in the desert for me to uh, start my search first thing in the morning. We'll definitely stay up on top of one of these uh, these pillars here as uh, it will keep us already high, already got some altitude in case the enemies try to come up to us and start immediately climbing. Try to outclimb and outfly them. Alright, so I think we're going to try to land on the one in front of us, if I am not mistaken. Uh, we can probably come and uh, come out of uh, autopilot and go for a nice cruise, nice glide angle, should maintain our speed for us. We have gear down and ready to go. We're going to come down and pass over this. Because we don't want to hit it, that's for sure. Because I can't really tell how far below it, below us this thing is. I should really have uh, put on some uh, downwards facing spotlights. But it's 300 meters below us it seems. In the, into the complete darkness. Oh god. Th this is scary as heck. Yes, this is absolutely scary. Coming in for a landing like this. I can just barely see the terrain in front of me. All I have to go off of is my little altimeter in the front. <laughs> oh, frightening. And... I guess... Oh, oh. We're down. I did it. I landed. Okay. That was scary. I don't want to do that again. I'm going to add some lights to this when I get home. But... It is nighttime here. We have plenty of fuel. We have plenty of food and water on us. So we have everything we need. It is warm and we have oxygen. So we can just tuck ourselves in for the night and enjoy the. Uh, okay, that's very noisy. But we can enjoy the. We can enjoy the stars. Ah, beautiful stars backlighting my, uh, my plane there. But that'll be it for now. We have made it to the desert. We are in position, ready to do some scouting and possibly some attacking of whatever is out here. But that is going to have to wait till first light. And considering uh, where the sun is right now... That actually won't be that long, considering, like, I flew against the sunlight. So, all it has to do is get around to about there. Maybe another 45 minutes. And the desert should start to, uh, uh, light up. And then I'll be able to, uh, do my scouting. But, that is it for now. My little plane here, <laughs> on the top of a, uh, a sandy hill, in the middle of the desert. 
Thanks for watching. And uh, good hunting out there, fellow space engineers. <laughs>